Ciao, David Biocchi here, and this is my weekly intermarket analysis. So let's start with the euro dollar that uh, recently is really uh, moving and moving and moving day by day just to try to go above the price of 1.107. So uh, this is uh, uh, the price, this is the resistance that is always rejecting any attempt of the uh, current of this currency pair to go uh, above. So this is quite interesting because the list of minimum are all increasing, let's say, and so we have a very short term triangle that uh, is 1.07 there and then this way here. So let's see what is going to happen in the next session. So maybe we can see something interesting. Let's switch to um, commodities like crude oil. Uh, that did a very very interesting movement there was a collapse of the price that uh, in only uh, let's see uh, three sessions went down to test the previous support of the area around 63.5 let's say and then there was an immediate reaction uh, this is a very interesting week that we can see here and then the market is rebounding and we are more or less at this moment around the price of uh, uh, $72 that uh, is the price that uh, is uh, uh, let's say the entering level for a $10 congestion that goes in between $72 to $82 per barrel where the market remained for a long time recently so will the market be able to go back in the previous range well obviously that range will continue is it simply a pullback and then the market will continue going down let's see what is going to happen uh, another commodity, very another very interesting commodity is uh, the gold that recently was able uh, in the same day the crude oil hit 63 to reach again the price of 2080 and then to retest in this case for the third time uh, able to retest uh, let's say the um, uh, uh, historical all time high. So this is a very interesting situation. Well, now uh, the situation is very clear. We have a clear, clear support area around 1980. If the market will go below this level, uh, well, uh, something will change even in short term. But until the moment the market will remain in this area, that is uh, 1880 to um, uh, 2050, well, more or less, this is a trading range in which uh, the gold can remain before trying any attempt up or down. So let's see again here what is going to happen. Let's switch to the European indices. Uh, the situation is very similar. The market remained more or less there in the attempt to go and test the previous high that we have seen in the 2021, very beginning of 2022. So will the market be able? Well, uh, let's see, uh, because uh, the market need to find a way to exit the situation. We will see later, especially with the S&P 500. Not so far uh, and not so different the situation that we have on the DAX. The DAX is uh, uh, very close to the uh, um, higher part of a recent trading range that is more or less around this level here. Um, some points, uh, some points, some hundred of points, 300 points up there. Uh, there's the uh, all-time high, so let's see what the market will uh, offer us if the possibility to go there and see again that all-time high or maybe the price to remain for a long time in this range where, where it is right now. Uh, for what concerning the uh, Nasdaq, the Nasdaq recently, um, let's say, uh, show uh, a really strong resistance in the area of 14,300, so more or less we are around that level and we need to go through that level to reach the next one that is uh, 13,700. So let's say that to go through this 400 point that we are still missing to go there, we need the market to exit a very strong recent, uh, recent uh, uh, resistance and the market will uh, have to show uh, a real good power to go through because the situation is quite static and the best uh, index, index to see this is the S&P 500. Well, it's very clear that we have uh, a sort of triangle here. It's, it's very easy 
also to see that, okay? So this is a quite long-term triangle, easy to see. The, let's say, price to exit here is um, 4,190. Let's say, uh, let's go to the rounded price of 4,200. But there's a big difficulty in exiting here. Don't forget that the market remain in this 100 point volatility for the entire last month, okay? So only 100 point volatility is really a poor volatility. So the market will need in a certain way to find the possibility to go through and maybe to find, uh, let's say later, different challenges. But uh, until the moment uh, it will happen, the market will remain here and it's very flat and very thin and volumes are going down. So the situation is that we are here to wait for something uh, that can tell us uh, some good stories about it. This is all for this week. Let's see if this one, the incoming one, will be decisive. We, we will have a CPI, for example, and this is interesting for sure. So let's go through. And for this week is enough. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.